Hello, reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings. Now, when we left off, we had taken Case from the Westerlands, and now, as you see here, we have Sir Clavis returning to us as I sent him as one of our emissaries to House Targaryen, and thankfully enough, they accepted our gift and gained full relation with us, so we will be welcoming him back, and I'm pretty sure that we will be seeing another companion return soon. I'm hoping to get around 20 relation with them, perhaps, and then we may indeed be able to propose a non-aggression treaty. According to some of you in the comments, that is the threshold for a non-aggression pact, so hopefully that would be rather agreeable. So let's try to get that done. Oh my goodness, here we are. We have Drollo coming back here. He has also been rather successful, as you see. We have now gained nine relations. Very nice indeed. That is great. And, oh, it appears we actually have quite a few people coming up here. And I've actually just realized that we are losing a huge amount of money, mainly because, as you see here, all of our villages are having quite a few issues. So we may indeed, after we have taken perhaps Fair Castle and maybe even Sunset Keep as well, we might have to head on back to Homelands and defend our villages if possible. So yes, as you can see here, they are continually raiding our villages, which is not too nice of them, that is for sure. So yes, I think we are now all very rejuvenated. As you see here, everyone else is full HP, which is wonderful. We have two companions already returned. I believe another two will be expected to return soon, hopefully. So let's see here. Fena, what does she want to spec into? Hmm. Well, she is going to become a vassal soon, or at least she is going to become one eventually, so I think maybe we probably want to get her some more charisma, because I'd like to get her at least 9 in charisma, and then she can get another point in leadership. Or at least, wait a minute, what we could do is get her to 8 charisma, and then have her read a book to increase her charisma by 1, and then we could have another point in leadership on top of that. So she'd have 4 in leadership total, which is rather nice, so I think we'll do that. We'll just need to get one more level to get her to 8 charisma and then a book will be required from there so that will be very nice let's increase her one-handed a little bit she does have a one-handed as well as a two-handed so let's hopefully be able to do that now the thing is would i like to keep a skill point back hmm not particularly so i think what we may do is improve her pathfinding once again because as i say she is going to become a vassal eventually and I think that would probably benefit her the most. So let's get everyone back into their rightful positions. And then we will be heading over to Fair Castle. Because as you can see here, Case now has, well, 100 units in the garrison. That is not enough to defend from Tywin's attraction, perhaps. But, oh, and as you can see here, we do have two vassals from the Riverlands and one from the Reach as well. They are raiding one of the Westerlands villages. And here we go, we now have Jasper returning to us, very nice indeed. And hopefully we'll get the other one while we are constructing our ladders. Thankfully enough, there are no vassals stationed here, so we should have a very easy time of taking this. And there it is, whoa, that was very quick. Okay, so I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing Garrett again, because I did have a lot of fun before playing him, and... Yeah, even though I shot a couple of our own units, I think that it is rather fun to have a longbow for once. And we will let Elias go on his killing spree. If he is able to pull off something to that effect, then I think it would be rather nice. So, yes, without further ado, let us head in. There are only 271 units here, so I don't really think it will be too dire a situation for me to play as Elias. And, ooh, this is a very unique layout. And I've just realized that this is an incredibly vicious bottleneck, so this is going to be rather amusing considering Garrett does not have a shield anymore, so... <laughs> yes, maybe it would have been a good idea to give him a shield, but as you see here, he does have 69 arrows, which is amazing. So, let's just see... Ah, King Elias is right in front of us here, giving us a small shield wall to hopefully prevent us from getting killed immediately. Oh, no, we've taken a little bit of damage there. Not too much. Okay, well, we're going to want to shoot now, I believe. Let's take out that fellow. Yes, we took out one already. That is amazing. Okay, come on. Garrett, you can do this. You have seven in power draw. Oh, yes, very nice headshot there, I believe. And, oh, I'm being shot by that fellow, perhaps. Yes, we took him out. That is great. Oh, no, we're being shot even further. Oh, no. Wait. Don't shoot me just yet. I'm at very low HP. 
Leave me alone. Oh no, I have no shield bear in mind, so if I take one more little arrow anywhere, then I'm totally dead. Okay, come on. Let's take him out. As best we can. Yes, we're doing damage to that fellow. Let's just try and interrupt him. Yes, there. Yeah, as you can see in the text log, we took out two more. Maybe we can get a headshot there. Nope, we just took out one straight up there with a torso shot. Oh my, okay. That's actually not too bad. We took out quite a few. And, oh, okay, come on. Let's take out that guy if we can. Oh, yes, wow, okay, nice headshot. Goodness me, okay, we seem to be doing a pretty reasonable job with his bow. And I, unfortunately, am not able to cancel the shot very easily. I do need to use the right click instead of changing weapons, of course, as I would usually. And there is another kill for Garrett. Wow, we're actually doing a pretty reasonable job, considering. And now, our archers are not able to have any impact in this particular siege. Of course, they already had quite a significant impact taking out most of the enemy archers, but now that we are in this bottleneck situation, we are definitely going to have a couple more issues instead. So, yes, we're just going to have to wait, I think. Maybe I can jump on this? Ooh, this is going to be risky. If I get jetpacked, then I'm dead. Oh, no. I'm dead. <laughs> Am I dead? Maybe? Oh no, I can sink back down, that is wonderful. Okay, phew, that was close. I actually thought that, hmm, maybe I can get on here? No, oh no, we're starting to move. Hmm, maybe I can get a shot through here? This is unlikely, isn't it? Yes, and there's an unsullied unit right in front of us here, so I would not like to kill him by mistake. That would be absolutely terrible of us. But, maybe I can get onto the side here, that is all I want to do. However, there is... A very strange fellow in the water over there. He is doing an excellent job, as you may see. He is shooting into the enemy's units. I believe he can probably see some that we cannot at the moment. So, yes, it appears that we will just have to deal with this small stalemate here. And, unfortunately, I do not have a line of sight at the moment. Although, if I was able to get on these battlements here, this side of the bridge, then I would have a very good chance of taking out a huge amount of units, so that is why I'm attempting to do it so often. Now, as you may have seen in the text log there, King Elias was able to acquire a kill. Not entirely sure whether that was his first kill, but it's always nice to see his name in the text log, that is for sure. And we will just hope that he will not get taken out too quickly. And, oh, it appears we have actually breached their defenses, and we are now attempting to move ahead. And we will eventually get there without any issue whatsoever, hopefully. Now, Clavis has just attained a kill as well. King Elias, his second kill, I think. That is great. And maybe I have a clear line of sight now. Oh, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm actually doing any damage here. And now there's just a fellow that stepped right in front of us, so... Hmm, unfortunate. Well, we did have a little bit of fun at the front here. Oh, maybe we can take out some people through there. I'm not entirely sure whether that's actually hitting. But King Elias is absolutely destroying their morale, I hope. Well, yep, our units have now penetrated their defenses, as you can probably see. And we are now going to be rushing up here and hoping that I do not get immediately taken out. So, oh, there, there is an archer. That is ours. Oh, yes, a nice headshot right there. And maybe we can take out this fellow as well. Yes, there we go. Come on. Take him out before he's able to do any further damage to our units. And that fellow somehow avoided damage. Not entirely sure how he did that, but we are getting quite a few headshots, as you may see. Oh, and he's going for a fall. Very nice. Okay, come on, take him out. Oh, I had a feeling he was actually trying to target us there, but thankfully enough, he was too slow. But his friend was not. Okay, well, <laughs> there it is. That is when we were finally taken down. And you know the saddest thing about that? He probably only did one damage to us, or, well, he would actually only need to do one damage to us, but, yeah, so you can just imagine if we were actually higher in HP at that point, then we may have survived long enough for us to do more damage. But, yes, as you see here, unfortunately, I did neglect to tell our archers to hold position in the courtyard here, so we are now going to have our knights dealing with the archers by themselves instead of having a bit of ranged support so hmm, that's not going to be too good for them but I have a feeling that we will prevail in the end <laughs> unfortunately not with Garrett alive however King Elias I believe is still here among our units perhaps yes there he is as you can see there is his helmet and you can obviously tell from the shield that he's currently using as well 
Come on, guys. Oh, yes. I, oh, my goodness. I really want to get Elias into the combat there. Ah, okay. Well, he has attained quite a few kills so far. I don't believe he's attained as much as Garrett, because Garrett is an excellent shot, is he not? Yes. <laughs> well, it was rather fun, anyway, to have the capability to actually shoot at a rate faster than a crossbow for once, so that's not too bad. I think if you are going to dedicate yourself to using bows, then I definitely think you need a greater supply of arrows. Although, <laughs> saying that, I have not used all of my arrows, so yeah, maybe it really depends on the situation. I think that is probably the case here. I think if we had still 22 arrows, but we had our shield, we probably still would have died, but hmm, maybe I would have been a little more cautious with how many shots I fired off, and that would have, in turn, caused us to gain less kills. So I suppose it is all a psychological effect, and thankfully enough, we are now about to take out the last remaining Westerlands archers. As you can see, an unsullied unit at the front there, three unsullieds fighting side by side. They are doing an excellent job. Come on, stab those guys. Oh, yes. There we are. Oh, very nice. That was a stab there. And I believe that is it. Oh, and King Elias was actually able to get one of the last remaining kills as well, which is always nice to see. So, there it is. The battle has been won, and now we can continue onward. Now, as you see, we do take quite a few wounded casualties, but... We only lost 12 to death. However, most of those were heavy knights. So that is definitely something that is not too good. However, as you see here, Garrett was able to acquire 15 kills, King Elias 11, and then the rest of them a little bit less than that. Fenner did very well, actually, for once. She actually, well, not for once. Yes, let's not try to insult her, shall we? <laughs> okay, so she, yes, she was actually able to get five. That's great. And, oh no, we are freeing more prisoners, it appears. Okay, well... Let's see what goes on here. We are increasing our relation with the Reach and with the Stormlands and also reducing with House Targaryen. But that's not too bad now because, of course, we have, as you suggested in the comments, sent out quite a few emissaries and they are doing an excellent job so far. So let us take these rescued prisoners and I will leave these enemies here because, of course, they do automatically go into the prisoner's hold. So there it is. Let our companions collect the items, and then we will be giving this to ourselves. There we are. That is fine. So let's split this. Maybe mm, we will not get any more relation, unfortunately. But there it is, anyway. We have taken Faircastle, and we are slowly turning the western coast into a field of green. The grass is always greener. Well, in this case, House Reformia is always greener, but anyway, here it is. We are going to be leveling up a couple of our units, get Jasper into his rightful place up here, and I notice that, luckily enough, the only companion that has not taken any damage is Brynden. That is very strange, because if you recall all those days ago, he did have a knack for getting taken out. But that is, of course, because of my mismanagement, but still, it's rather nice to see him alive for once. So, let us recruit some units for House Reformia here, and we are going to get 10 lots of units, and I've just realized that I'm actually spending quite a bit of money, and we are running out, so mm, this is going to potentially prove quite costly, taking all of these fiefs and then garrisoning them with those kinds of units, so mm, maybe <laughs> we need to watch out for that. Okay, well... Fair castle should be okay, and yeah, they continued looting it. Thank you very much, fellows. I really wanted them to stop as soon as I took it, but it appears that they were already set in their ways. So let us give these few fellows into the garrison here. I'm thinking, should we give a couple of our sergeants as well? Let's give some of these sergeants. We'll give 20. And, oh yes, by the way, that does remind me that one of you asked me how we move units by tens. Well, I was actually told in a comment only a couple of episodes ago on one of my series that if you hold shift instead of control then you can actually move units by tens and that was very useful to me so yeah I'm now sharing the word I suppose and yes the original fellow that gave me that tip thank you very much so there it is now we are going to be heading on from the garrison here and I'm thinking we will probably hmm I'd actually like to head down to Craig Hall here but do we want to further consolidate our 
extending our territory in this area, or would we rather connect our territory to each other? I think connecting it is probably going to be the best idea, and I probably would think that most of you would agree, so I think that should be fine. So let's head over to Sunset Keep, and we will see how many units they have stationed there. If it is too many, then we will just head on to somewhere else. And I'm actually waiting for one of our other companions to return, I believe. Who has not returned yet? Jonas! Jonas has not returned. Why is he taking so long? Well, we will soon see where he is going to be. And, oh, only 232 here. And it is a ladder castle once again, so we are very pleased with that. Now, I probably will be playing Elias in this one, because, as you know, Garrett was taken out. So, that is... Something we do need to make sure that he rejuvenates himself. And, oh my, I've actually just seen that Elias is actually 50% HP as well. Well, at least he has a shield, so that's okay. And for some reason I switched to my two-handed for no reason. So, let's get our archers in a very good position and hope that Garrett is actually in this particular siege. Because I would like to see how well he does by himself, rather than me controlling him. And we'll see how that goes. So, let's get our units a little bit closer so that they have a better shot on many of the archers here. Now, I am a little bit worried, actually, about charging in immediately here. Hmm. I think we should be okay, because our elite longbowmen do need to have a little bit of cover, perhaps, so as long as the Westerland's archers are concentrating on our infantry and cavalry, then they will stay alive a lot longer, and I think that is probably what we need to make sure of at the moment, because, as you know, we do have a... Well, let's just say a shortage of ranged units in comparison to melee units, so I think it should be pretty good to sacrifice a couple of infantry for the archers. So once we get in here, I will be attempting to switch to my two-handed sword, and we will go hacking and slashing our way through the enemy's lines. And we will see how well that goes. Of course, oh no, of course there are a couple of archers in the courtyard down there, and I do need to be a little bit cautious of those. And I think maybe the other Elias would have done a better job so far. Well, let's just try and see whether we can beat his score of the previous siege. I believe he had 11, so let's try and get more than 11 kills, and we'll see how well that goes. Oh no. Okay, come on, let me through, heavy knight. I am ready to stab this fellow. Well, not anymore, but I was. Okay, come on, let's head in here. Stab that guy, yes, before he has any chance to retaliate against our incursion here. That is fine, okay, great. So, now, what we want to do here is move our archers onto the battlements, and then we will rain down death upon our opponents here. Oh, they're my own units, of course, okay. We do need to make sure that that does not occur. Us attacking our own units, wonderful. Well, come on, let's do it. Oh, he's blocking quite a bit. Oh no, I think we'll switch to our two-handed now, and we'll see how well we do with this. Of course, I am more susceptible to arrows now, so we do need to watch out for that. Come on, take him down. Now, hopefully our archers, yes, they are now entering onto the battlements here, and hopefully they will be in a great enough position to be able to assist us with taking out the enemy archers in the courtyard, and hopefully they will be taken out and... They won't see fit to destroy our own units, so that will be rather nice to see. Come on! Oh, I was attempting to stab there, but it appears it's not working out too well. Okay, there we are. We are cutting a line through them, and we are about to see our units advance through the keep and eventually end up at the archery nest, I think, unless our elite longbowmen are able to deal with them. Hmm. At the moment, I'm not seeing any elite longbowmen getting any kills, so that makes me think that potentially they are out of range, or they are in a bad position, which is probably the latter. Yes, it appears to be the latter at least. Okay, well, as far as I can tell, the units in the garrison here at the moment are primarily infantry, and... Hmm, yes, we do need to thin them out as quickly as we can, because a long drawn out battle is never a good sign. It can always give the enemy more morale. That is not going to do very well, is it? No. We need to head up there. Come on. Let's get through there. Come on, Elias. Take out these fellows. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I cannot thrust at them, and I cannot slash at them, so... Oh, there we are. Thank you very much, Heavy Knight. He has cleared the way. 
And now, oh, okay, an elite longbowman was able to support us there. Oh my goodness, we already have a strike team going up here into the archery nest. Look at that. That is wonderful. Okay. Well, that is always great to see. I love it when the AI takes a little bit of initiative. And I have a feeling that we are having a similar issue to how we had before with this castle layout, where we have a couple of Westerlands units in the corner down here. So let's try to make sure that we do not have to wait too long. And oh, wow, okay. Heavy Knights are doing their job very, very well indeed. Come on, kill that guy. Yes, thank you very much. And oh yes, hello. Oh my goodness, okay, there's quite a few in here. Do need to be a little bit cautious. Make sure we don't get singled out. Can always happen. Okay, there we are. That's fine. Now, are our archers in a good enough position? I think we probably want to move them down here? Yeah, I think we probably want to move them down here. I think it would probably give us a better vantage point. And I will do my very best to take out these fellows here. And, oh no, this is not good. Okay, I have to take out all of these units by myself, apparently, because all of my units have decided that the archers are more important. So, yes, we will just have to go at these fellows by ourselves oh my okay come on continue to crush through their blocks that is exactly why I really enjoy using this two-handed weapon there we are thank you very much and is that guy dead <laughs> okay well that is a very amusing bug okay wonderful so there it is we have attained victory and we will hopefully be able to consolidate our territory even further, and I'm actually wondering, where are all of the Westerlands vassals? I'm pretty sure they are at war against the Stormlands and the Reach, as you could probably see. Well, actually, maybe not the Stormlands, maybe the Riverlands, but, hmm. At the moment, we are not seeing too many of their vassals. The only vassal, I believe, that is actually raiding our villages at the moment is that fellow Sir Dennis. So I am probably going to be heading over to our homeland in just a moment after this battle has concluded, and we will see what he has up his sleeve. We will be taking him out as quickly as we can, of course, and we will teach him not to mess with House Reformia. That is definitely a worthwhile lesson to teach, that is for sure. So, there it is. We have a team victory. Five Renown is our reward. I have actually just realized now that the reward of Renown is not exactly something we should be aiming for at the moment, because of course we do have an army size of, I believe, 420 or something like that, so yes, we don't really need anything higher than that, I don't believe. So there it is, Elias was able to acquire 42 kills, and his companions did none, because of course they were all injured at the time. So there it is. Okay, so we have some rescued prisoners. I will be taking these to hopefully place them in the garrison. And then we will, of course, move on to our homeland to defend it. Okay, so there it is. I have actually gained another Lordly Lannister helmet. Okay, shall we take another one of those? Maybe. And we'll let our companions loot the rest. Now I will be having Sunset Keep for ourselves. And then we will be... I don't think we'll split it, shall we? That won't give us any relation, unfortunately, but it does give us a little bit of money, I suppose. So let us manage this castle. We will recruit troops. I'm going to do this... Uh, I really don't want to do it more times. Let's do it seven times. We'll try to reduce the amount of times that we actually recruit now because we are a little bit on the ropes in terms of money. We are losing it every week after all. So there it is. Okay, we will be garrisoning this castle here. I will place these looters and various outlaws in the garrison. And then they will be supported, of course, by the inevitable sergeants, knights, and various other units that we gain from the automatic recruiting. So, I will now be heading over to Pike Lee and Harlaw, which have just been looted by that very devious fellow, Sir Dennis, and I will hopefully be able to take him out. Okay, so as you can see, we have caught up with Sir Dennis Plum, and he has some very good relation with us, as you can see. I have attempted to already persuade him, but he does state that he wishes Tywin to live a long life, so unfortunately we will not be able to try to persuade him to join us. However, as one of you has stated in the comments, we should probably try to send out a couple of emissaries to hopefully persuade those vassals that we would like to join us and 
maybe they will. So hopefully we will be able to do that at a later point because of course I was sending out the emissaries to House Targaryen with gifts. So that is the time that I was doing that and we obviously did not have any spare companions to change that. So there it is, we have 264 against 54, yes I know it is a little bit outnumbered, but I did want to gain one of the other vassals in this particular bout, but unfortunately it appeared that he was able to slip outside of the radius of our engagement, and so we do not have him here. So we'll just have to do battle against Sir Dennis by ourselves here, and maybe we'll have to take out the other fellow at another time. So let us try to thin out their units and I'm thinking we're probably going to attempt to take out Sir Dennis's horse so that he is a little bit less mobile and I'm hoping that I will actually not take him out because then we will lose even more relation with him. So let's just try and take out his horse. There we are. Very nice. And now our heavy knights will be able to take him out without any issues. And of course we have our own horse, who is doing an excellent job as you can see. Your horse charges for 27 bonus damage, and takes out one of the Westerland's man-at-arms. So that is wonderful. I always love seeing that, so that is great. Brynden was able to get a kill too. And this will be over very soon indeed. Let's just help our units out as best we can. There we are, take out that fellow. And there it is, one enemy remains. And... Where is he? Oh, he's right in front of me over there. Okay, well, take him out, heavy knights. Maybe. <laughs> Sometime, perhaps? Ah, there it is. Okay, wonderful. There it is. Okay, a knight took it out. Very good. Okay, so there it is. We have taken out the harassing unit that was attempting to raid all of our villagers consistently. That was not too pleasant of him. Oh, and he managed to escape as well. I was really hoping that we would be able to at least have the opportunity to take him prisoner. Oh well, that is fine. So let's take a couple of prisoners here, and yeah, okay, we'll let our companions loot the rest. So as you can see here, we do have Sir Stefan Swift, and I believe there is also another one who ran off in this direction. I think he's probably going to head over to this village here, maybe to this one, not entirely sure, but I will attempt to take them out off screen. So next time on Clash of Kings, we will hopefully be able to take out the Crag and maybe Banefort as well, but they do sound like very hardy targets indeed. So at the moment we're expanding our territory rather nicely, and thank you very much for all of your information and tips and hints and so forth. It is invaluable. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.